He's from Urban Crust, and their specialty is wood fire pizza. I'm all about a good crusted pizza. It's great to meet you. I know Thank I think you. we've cooked together recently, like I in the last so. few months. Your face that looks so familiar to me. Thank you. Thank you. That's <laughs> we what got Chef James over here too, already getting the dough ready. Yes, absolutely. So good to have y'all in. What are we making? So we're gonna start stretching our dough over here, mm -hmm. and um, pretty much want to do some circular motions over circular here. Circular motions. Yeah. Like this. Like this. I like feel like that. I gotta talk with a little accent. Uh, <laughs> Tell me if I'm That's doing my it. job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that means shut up, Amy. <laughs> you don't do it right. I'm too Texan for that, right? No. Okay. You're I gotta right. turn this around. I need some flour on this thing. The whole here. idea is to make a round. All righty. Yeah, you're doing a good job. It doesn't have to be yeah. perfectly round because no, you, it doesn't. you don't want your pizza to be perfectly round. It's in a homemade product, so it's it's not nice it's imperfect. Right. 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 And then we're gonna put them in your hands like this. Oh. We're gonna try to flip it like this. We're yeah. gonna flip it. Like See this. That? No, let's flip <laughs> like this. Go. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> Sorry. That's no. okay. We can use these. We'll, okay. these we'll, like... just, we'll just do this like this. All right. Ah, let's keep like going. Beautiful. Okay. Go where it is an ornament instead. All right. Now, we're going to make one of our signature pieces. It's called the Urban Amore. The Urban Amore. Amore means love. Wow. Love's in Italian. Okay. Like a pizza with the love. There we go. We're going to do a little fresh uh, figs. I was going to say, is that a fig sauce? We make it in the house. Oh, my gosh. At Urban Crust. Urban Crust. And uh, are, you, are you cooking there every day? Yep, very much. Me, me and James were there, like, you know, this all is the time. Gorgeous. Okay, you live there. You live there. That's, that's a good place to live. So, so, can I find this? Um, this I know this is in house special, but can we find that can, big preserve on the shelf? You can probably find it, yes. Okay. Be careful not to be too sweet. We make it our own, so it's not too sweet. Right. There's a, a fresh goat cheese on it. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, you got the sweet, the salty, the tangy here. Very savory going on here. A little blessing. Gorgeous. Oh, like this. That. There we go. Gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I see you're going to put some arugula on there, too. And I love, like, a pizza with some salad on top. That's just and my kind of pizza. there it comes. Ah, oh, look go. at you. How's that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, can the camera see? i got to move this just a little bit because I want everyone to see how gorgeous that crust is. No, we're going to slice this. Okay. A little wet, just. Mm-hmm. I love that with the, the fig preserve. I'm going to try that this It's a great appetizer. Weekend. Appetizer. Nice. If you're a family or friends yeah, of the house. Yeah, we'll be cooking this weekend, and I think that's a beautiful idea. I love to do pizzas on the grill. Are you familiar with arugula? Yes, very much so. There you go. It's mm -hmm. beautiful and fresh. Uh huh. Thank you. It's a little peppery, you know, a little spicy. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's really good with pizza, though. I think right, it's better perfect. with pizza. All right. And now we're going to do a little prosciutto here. Oh, my gosh. Chef Tori. So you got your pepper, you got your salt from the prosciutto, that your sweetness gorgeous? from the figs. James, are you doing okay over there? Doing great. <laughs> are you, would you like a bite, Jeff? <laughs> really are you good. like sick of pizza? You probably make so many. You just well, we don't eat it every day ourselves. I mean, but we still do eat it, surprisingly enough. Well, you got to taste, you know, right? When Absolutely. you're creating new pizzas and new toppings, Plus, you got to be the, the taste tester over there. Plus, no matter what, it's it's always still good. So. Right. Our okay, pizza is very this? light. Balsamic. This is aged balsamic. Oh. So what do you want in here? That's perfect. Is this? Oh, can I? That's for oh, you. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Hold it. This I got to do the little folder thing here. That's right. With the, with the is that, is that the right way to do it? Too. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. I was disappointed. Yeah. You know, you said an appetizer. That's a meal to me. With a fine glass of wine. Exactly. That's all you need. Are you kidding? It's amazing. That fig with that cheese, that arugula, that prosciutto, that's all you need. That's a happy thing. You're so good that's with right. it. And this is Amore. <laughs> that's that's, that's Amore. Amore. Hey. Amore comes after the pizza, probably. Okay, but... so if you don't want to make it at home, you can obviously get it. Urban uh, crust. Urban, urban crust. And we open seven days a week and um, lunch and dinner and brunch. So. Oh, nice. All, all the above. Okay, I didn't do so well, but I'm going to eat yours oh. instead. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll try this out later. <laughs> Y'all stick around in our next hour. Um, Chef Tori's going to be on our show to do just a little bit more in our next hour. And we got more broadcasts when we come back. This is so good. I'm sure you guys.